beauty, welcome back to Pretty Scary. Today is the first of my Valentine's tutorials. I was a bit stuck this year because I've already done the obvious things like Creepy Cupid, Broken Hearted. So I did a bit of research and found loads of creepy vintage cards. So I decided to recreate this creepy Victorian card. There's loads and loads of creepy cards online, so have a look, they're very weird. I mean, what the actual? These are so weird. Anyway, if you'd like to know how to recreate the look, then keep on watching. First thing you want to do is to create the heart shape to go around your head. So take a piece of card, mark out the size of your head on the card and then draw a heart around that. Cut out the heart. And then you want to hold the heart up against your face and just mark out where your features are so you get a rough idea of where your features will be within the heart when you cut out the centre. Particularly important is obviously the top of your face and the bottom of your face. I just drew in the features roughly so I could see what I wanted the heart to look like once it was on. And then just cut out the centre. You'll want to do your heart in two pieces so that you've got a top and a bottom piece, a jaw piece and a forehead piece basically. And then I applied some foam pieces to stick the heart onto my head. Block out your eyebrows ready for the painting later and then mark on your head where you want the piece to sit. Apply some glue to those foam pieces and basically wait for the glue to go clear and then you can stick that piece straight on your face. It's going to look a little bit odd at first but once you blend it into the face and paint it all it will come together. I just added a couple of little extra pieces at the back just to keep the top piece and the bottom piece together. It's just a lot easier to do it in two pieces basically. So. Once you're happy and the piece is securely on your face, you want to take some water-based face paint and just paint the whole of your face red to start to blend it into that heart. Don't worry about any gaps around the edge, those will be blended in later on with some good old latex and cotton wool. So now you're looking nice and sunburned, take the said latex and cotton wool and just apply some latex all around those edges a little bit of cotton wool and then more latex over the cotton wool with a spatula and just blend that part into your face. Now you are at one with the heart. Paint the cotton wool and latex pink first of all. You want to paint it pink before you paint on red so that you get a nice depth of colour and it matches the card and the rest of your face. Now it's painted red, you can see how that is starting to blend. And now it's time to start drawing on those features. So using the picture as a reference, start to draw on all the different strange features on that weird heart-headed woman. So she's got this downturned mouth and all these really accentuated face creases. So it's gonna look really theatrical and over the top basically. So you just want to draw them out first of all, I'm just using a lip line, you can use an eye line or whatever you have to have and then you'll be shading them in later on and going over them with some black face paint. Take your time sketching out these features so that you make sure you get them right and as close to the picture as possible. Obviously the woman in the picture has got very unhuman like proportions to her face which you can't copy but just do your best. Now you want to take a deep grey matte shadow, it's important that it's matte so you get a nice shade and then start to shade in all those features that you've just drawn in with your lip pencil, eye pencil, whatever you can. colour on with a dense brush and then basically blend it with a fluffy brush so you get a nice shaded gradient effect. You do want these shadows to look quite strong though because you want it to look kind of theatrical and drawn and you don't want it to look really natural.
with your shading, you want to start going in and doing some dark areas in black face paint, water based face paint. So I just darkened up the mouth to make it look like the mouth is open and then just darkened up those eyebrows and started drawing in all the different cracks and stuff in the heart. Now this is one of those makeups where it does help if you've got some artistic or drawing ability but if you haven't just give it a crack anyway if you'll excuse the pun as I'm drawing cracks on the heart <laughs> And then just taking a very, very watered down version of that face paint and just shading in around the edges of that heart. The more shading and detail you add, the more you don't notice the join between the face and the actual cardboard heart around your head. So that's a good tip there for joining things together and making things look nice and blended. Basically plain, smooth areas are your enemy when it comes to anything like this. You want a lot of interest to draw the eye to that interest so that you can't see the joins. Tip from the top there. Just using a very fine brush there just to draw in all those lines just to make it look extra theatrical, drawn and dramatic. You can even adopt some line shading like I'm doing here, doing lots of little lines as shading as you do see sometimes on drawings. Make sure you outline your eyes too so that they pop and don't look too natural and kind of blended in. all the black lines you can just go in and finesse the shading a little bit add a little bit more shading where you think it needs it because once you've got the black in some of the shading will start to look a little bit too light so you can just darken any areas that need darkening and just add some more of that line shading that I spoke about earlier like I've said a few times in this tutorial the aim is to kind of make your face look like a drawing so you want all these black outlines and really strong shading Now we're just finessing all those shadows and then adding some highlights which will really make this pop and give it some dimension. So just taking a white face paint and just highlighting the areas that you feel should be highlighted using your picture as a reference. And then just the final touch is I just added some paper tears that I cut out from just some plain white card and we're done. If you enjoyed this weird tutorial please give it a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you're doing for valentine's day thank you for watching subscribe and i love you all